Hey guys, it's Brian from Delta Fowlers coming back at you for on Waterfowl Wednesday, talking about a um, what gear we use. Um, we're gonna do a little video of a gear review, and what we're reviewing today is our shotgun. Uh, a lot of people has asked me what shotgun do we use, and we use a Browning A5, and I got them over here. This is my Browning A5. And I've had it for um, for two years now, and it has not misfired or or um, jammed up or anything at all. It has been a great, great shotgun, and I'll be the first to tell you that I am very, very hard on a shotgun. I if I need to use it as a boat paddle or a shovel, I'll do it. And I expect it to to work when I get through, when I get through with it and, and shoot at the bird. I expect it to kill a bird. Um, I've had this gun. I've actually used it as a boat paddle before. I've dropped it and it fell in water. Picked it back up. Fired. No problem whatsoever. Um, I highly recommend this gun. It has. Um, you can't go wrong with it at all. Not one bit. One of the features I like best about this gun is whenever you fire all three rounds and it stays open and when you go to load it, a lot of people will put the gun, put the round in there and press the, press the button and that's fine. You can do that. But what I like about this Browning is, is instead of going through two steps of putting it in there and then press the button all you got to do is load it from the bottom and it auto loads just like that and then you can put your other rounds in and you'll be ready to go so that is um like i said that's what i like one of the main best features i like about this gun is the auto loading on that part right there but uh, like I said, I've had no problems whatsoever with this gun. Uh, we use the shot cam. If you can see that right there. Shot cam camera. That camera does really well of getting a close up shot of the birds you kill. And it helps you with seeing how you miss the bird. If you miss low, high, front, behind, you can actually see the shot go out of your gun and see where it's going, the direction it's going in. So you'll be able to adjust your sight. It has made me and my son a 100%, 1,000% better shot. So I highly recommend this shot, shot cam camera. And the choke we use is a, um, I don't know if you can see that there, it's a Jebs choke. It's a uh, high voltage long range choke and that's the package right there you will kill more birds shooting a full choke um, it does not have a wide pattern all your 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 shots your shots are condensed into a smaller group but you can shoot longer and when you hit the bird, you're gonna kill the bird. You're not you're gonna you're not gonna have as many wounded birds. And uh, I recommend shooting a full choke. But you have to practice and you have to learn how your gun shoots with the ammunition you use and how it patterns. And you gotta know your gun and know how it's shooting. And if you ever learn to shoot a full choke, you won't shoot nothing else. I shoot a full choke no matter if I'm in the timber in the rice fields, corn fields, hunting sloughs or whatever, I shoot a four choke because I know exactly how it patterns, I know exactly how it's gonna shoot and it's gonna hold a tight pattern and it's gonna kill the birds. But like I said, this is my gun, it's a Browning A5. Um, it's got the traditional hump back and what, that's another reason, that's really the main reason that I picked the A5 when I bought this gun because when you shoot it, you get lined up that that humpback lines your eyesight up 
perfect. You don't have to lean your head way down. You throw it up there and you're on site. Whereas a Benelli or a Winchester, when I've held them guns and when I would make a decision on what to buy and I was put it up to my shoulder in, in, the, um, in the store, you know, you have to get down there, you have to get way down there to, to get on site. Whereas this humpback right here on this Browning A5, I mean, you're just right there and you're ready to go. And yes, I do shoot left-handed. <laughs> anyway, you cannot go wrong with this A5. Now this is my gun, the one I shoot. And this is the Browning A5 that my son shoots, Taylor. This is the Wicked Wing Edition. He, um, he just got this at the middle of last year, the middle toward the end of last year. And um, I bought it for him because his gun, I, I accidentally broke his gun, <laughs> broke the choke. I'll explain that to you later in just a few minutes. But this Wicked Wing is the same thing as the regular A5. It just has the, I don't know if you can see it or not, it has a, the pretty designs on there. Uh oh. I'm gonna break the daggum light fixture in my kitchen. You know, you can see the, the design that has on it. It has the, the finish all the way out. And he also shoots the shot camel his. And um, it has a bigger engage button right there. But it will also auto load around, just like that. And like I said, you don't know how how convenient that is when you're out there hunting and you go dry and you got to put a round in real fast. You don't have to worry about doing that, then hitting the button. You just stick it up in there and once you pull your thumb out, it loads it up and then you can load your other three. Well, other two rounds. <laughs> One total of three. And he shoots the same choke I shoot uh, and he loves it. Like I said, this, um, this Jeb's choke right there, the four long, four choke long range. Um, if you ever get used to shooting it, you won't shoot nothing else. I promise you, it, uh, it, it does us good. But this is his gun and um, he's a little ticky about his. He, he's more, a little more careful with it. He babies it a little bit. And um, he do, he's not as rough on a weapon as I am. But well, that's his. <clears throat> and this is also Taylor's, my son, my son Taylor's gun. And it's a Browning A5. And this is what he'd been hunting with for the last three years. The reason why I had to buy him that new Wicked Wing last year was because he was hunting with this gun and he was going to Tunica County, Mississippi to hunt. And I was going to our duck club in Arkansas. And I bought him that new choke, the Jeff's choke, and he wanted to, me to take it out and exchange it for him. And I went to go take the choke out and it would not come out. And I got the old barrel here with the choke still in it. And I cannot, to this day, get that choke out at all. I've tried my best. You can see where I've worn the daggum paint out of, on, on this barrel and trying to get this choke and it's all scratched up. You can see where it's all scratched up and everything. But I still can't get this daggum choke out. So I wound up bending the choke and I was, and he couldn't use his gun. So we went out and bought him that new Wicked Wing, but I contacted Browning and I bought a new barrel to go on this gun. That way we'll have a backup gun. And I haven't, it's got just a regular Browning choke in it. It's, I haven't put a new choke in it yet. But this is our backup gun, and it's a Browning A5 also. You can't go wrong with the Browning A5, guys. Like I said, we've um, we got three of them, and I'm rough as rough comes on a weapon. I want that weapon to work when it needs to work, like it's supposed to work, when I want it to work. And if I had to use it as a shovel to dig a hole or, or use it as a boat paddle, if I drop it in the mud and sand when I pick it up, by God, it better uh, fire around downrange. 
and I've had no problem with that Browning A5, whatever. I highly recommend it. Uh, I know a lot of people swear by Benelli's, uh, Super Black Eagle 3's, and that um, the Winchester or the Beretta A4, I believe it is. People swear by them, and that's okay. I'm pretty sure those are good guns, too. I've never shot them. I've only held them. Um, but I, you can't go wrong with that Browning A5 at all. So if, if you like this video, give us a big thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. Hit that like button. Follow us on our Instagram. Follow us on Facebook. God bless. Y'all have a great day.